Pendleton, Oregon. We got that trailer dropped uh, up in Spokane Valley, made it down here, and decided this would be a good place to do the 30-minute uh, break. So after the two and a half, 245 worth of driving, because I had to take a big detour because the, the exit for that RV dealership was closed, so I had to go up. I don't know, it was like six miles or whatever and loop around and come back. I don't know. Anyway, wound up eating uh, more time than it's expected. So by the time I got that drive time done, stopped for fuel and got some road supplies because uh, where I was at last night, nah, <laughs> just nah. Uh, and then made it back down here. I had like 45 minutes left before I, I was required to take a, a break because of my eight hours. Um, <clears throat> took them a while to do the check-in. Uh, it was about a three and a half hour deadhead back down here. And yeah, we got this beautiful Coleman loaded up and ready to make its voyage down to Mesa, Arizona. Um, not sure where we're going to stop tonight. I guess that's all part of the fun, right? Figure it out as you go. Anyway, uh, depending at the clock, I know this is going to take me right past my house. So depending how much time I have left when I get there, might sleep at the house tonight and take off again first thing in the morning. Or uh, you know, if I can make it a few hours past the house, then I'll do that. Um, I would like to get this dropped tomorrow. So it's all about how many hours I can eat up today. If I can get this dropped tomorrow, I can make my way over to Indiana. And uh, start pulling some of those money loads. Those of you who don't know, right now there's a big bonus for uh, any camping world. And I think it's Keystone, but I'm not positive. Uh, they're paying $1.80 a mile. So for a day, day and a half deadhead, I'll take that. Anyway, I'm going to go finish up my 30 minute break. Maybe have breakfast because I haven't eaten yet today. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys wherever I stop tonight. Maybe it's home. Maybe it's a few hours east of home. Either way, we'll figure it out. And I'll catch you guys whenever we get there. <laughs> Here's what it come down to. I had uh, an hour and a, like an hour 45 or something like that left on my clock. So I could have gone that far down the road. Or I could have stopped here, done laundry, got a shower, had a real food. A real food, yes. A real food. Not truck stop food. And uh, <clears throat> sleep in a real bed. So ahead and stop here um either way absolutely was not going to make delivery tomorrow uh, would have been about if if everything went perfect and i was able to just go still would have been about an hour hour and a half short so it's getting delivered friday either way and i figure at uh at that might as well take a little bit of luxuries because 
well, I'm sure you guys have seen, over the last couple months, I have spent a lot of time at home. Which has been great. You know, the kids were off school for the summer, and we had a lot of stuff going on with the club, and I had a lot of projects I was trying to get done. I got most of them done. And, uh, well, I was able to spend a lot of time here. But it's time to buckle down and get back at it. So I'm going to take off and I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks. Um, my, I'm looking at being back, like the like leaving tomorrow morning. And I won't be back until probably the second week of September. Um, for a while there, I got to where I could do one week and be home. And uh, that's... That's still an option, however, there is the ability to make more money if I don't try and have a select destination. And that's kind of what this is all about here. You know, I'm not doing this because it's a fun job. I mean, it is, but that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing this because you know, I want to do this or do that. My goal is to become debt-free as soon as I can, um, which sucks because... <laughs> I know that in three years, I'm moving again. So, yeah, trying to do as much as I can to this house in three years to increase its resale value, um, which will put me uh, well ahead when I sell it and move into the next place. So, that's the plan. And in order to do that, I need to be out working. So I'm going to take off and get a lot of time. I'm probably not going to upload this tonight. So that won't affect you guys at all. But hang on. Dog. <coughs> Dog stepped in a goat head. Um, anyway, I typically upload uh, right away. But I'm going to go ahead and piece this one together throughout tomorrow as well so um yeah all right uh not gonna do my sign off as usual because although i'm going to bed y'all pick this back up tomorrow so i will catch you guys tomorrow morning so what you want to do is on one end just watching a little high mileage helper before i get uh get the day going and, uh, <clears throat> well, it's time to get at it. No, not really. I mean, yes, but not right now. So we're, uh, we're taking the wife's Jeep. Uh, just on a little run. Gotta go down to the convenience store, get my daily supplies. Because I have a trailer on the back of my truck. I don't really feel like stopping. i got plenty of diesel. I just want to go. So, this thing still has a blown radiator. It finally came in. So now I just have to put it in. Uh, but we're going to run down, get our daily supplies with this. And then, uh, it's time to get going. Definitely uh, overslept. Had some interesting stuff happen last night. Um, well, let's just say that when, uh, when your club brothers ask for help, you help. And I was up very late. So, overslept, and I went, well, I'm already not on the road early. So, cooked up some steak and eggs, had a great breakfast, sat down with the wife, coffee, amazing, watched some TV. Uh, yeah. So... I'm going to go get this stuff, and I will catch you guys in the streetwalker as soon as I get my PTI done and we're on the road. All right. PTI is done. Got laundry done. Got a nice shower. Slept in a real bed. Had a great breakfast. Truck's all packed up sitting out here been warming up for a few minutes and uh it's time to get on the road so wife is right behind me to open the gate to let me out and i will catch all of you guys a little bit later
here in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. That's Highway 93. Right smack in the middle of my 30 minute break. And uh, it's so far an uneventful day, uh, which is good, really good. Um, this thing wiggles a bit. I guess 33 feet off the bumper. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get a little bit. Anyway, uh, I just landed a load to pick up on Saturday, so this will get dropped Friday. This Coleman. I'll be probably about two hours. Of course, as soon as I start hitting record, the uh, the wind's gonna pick up. So we're gonna stand over here behind the truck and. Hopefully the cab blocks the wind for you guys. Uh, anyway, we'll be delivering this Coleman Friday, uh, probably about two hours-ish away from delivery tonight. And then I scored a load for pickup Saturday that, uh, well, it'll be an interesting video. <laughs> um, nothing real crazy but we'll get to that later we'll get to that saturday but i noticed this yesterday and i forgot to bring it up i don't know if you can tell my truck's falling apart I, I think that what happened was the the when I was pressure washing the mirrors, it got in there and it split that. So that's that's neat. Anyway, I've been meaning to get that on the video for yesterday or day before, maybe two days. I don't know, and I kept forgetting. Uh, and I was sitting here doing my thirty, and I looked out the window and I saw it, and I went, "Nah, we'll get that in there while we're uh, while I'm thinking about it this time." So, I'm going to go ahead and get back in the truck and finish out this 30 and get back on the road. My bet is I'm going to sleep at that Love's uh, just outside of Vegas, on the, uh, right on the edge of the 15 there. My guess. Anyway, I'm going to get back at it and uh, catch you guys later tonight. All right, so uh, as you've been seeing for the last, well, almost all of today, I've been driving down Highway 93. Uh, <clears throat> also, obviously, I've been able to kind of rework my phone mount so that I can kind of get you guys some video. I mean, there's a lot of dash. I'm sorry. I'm working with what I got. Um, <clears throat> Conveniently, the new position, when you flip the camera around, I'm almost in the center of the frame, so that's good too. Uh, <laughs> anyway, totally hands-free, totally safe, not breaking any laws. Um, I had to tap the record button, which is no different than adjusting your uh, heater or AC or your radio, so no laws broken. Um, <clears throat> anyway, for those of you who have not traveled this road, Highway 93 is boring. It's pretty, you know, there's, there's good views, uh, perfectly honest, I, I really want to take the Harley down this road. I, I think it would be much more enjoyable on a bike than in the truck especially pulling this wiggle wagon here behind me. <laughs> anyway, um, just wanted to say hi, and uh, I'm trying to do my best to, to make this a little bit more enjoyable video. Uh, as I grow the other channel, I'm getting better at, better at editing. And uh, I think I'm going to try and start editing more and more of my videos for you guys. And, you know, that might make it a, an every other day like this. Instead of every day you get a video. Or one video per load kind of thing. 
I like that. Get in the comments. Let me know. Um, <clears throat> one video per load. I kind of like the way that sounds. Anyway, uh, also, while you're down there in the comments, drop down the, uh, the description tab, little triangle thing, and it's in the right corner. Uh, right next to the subscribe button, if you haven't pushed that, because I'm watching my analytics, and over half of you are not. Uh, but while you're in there in that description tab, you can, A, check out the other channel if that's something you're interested in more than just um, the RV transport stuff. Uh, I've got some some new stuff coming to that channel as well. Uh, I've spent a couple months working on a project that I, well will definitely never be on this channel. Um, my other channel will probably never get monetized, no matter what I do, just because of the things that are on it. So that's where this will go, because that would demonetize this channel, and we don't want that. Uh, but also, Instagram. Um, you know, I've plugged that a couple times lately, and I'm watching my Instagram really take off. You know, you guys getting in there, interacting with me, great. Also, what have you passed me today on the 84 in Boise? Uh, I believe it was Paul, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, awesome. Well, I'm going to um, end this little section of video here because, well, I had to turn the AC off and it's getting very warm very quickly. So, I'll catch you guys uh, a little bit later down the road. Right, so exactly where I thought we would be. Uh, the love's just outside of Las Vegas. Um, I have just a hair over an hour of drive time left on my clock for the day. Um, I made the mistake of trying to park in a truck stop in Las Vegas once, and that is not something I'm going to do again. So, uh, here we are. This one's nice, it's convenient. I chose to park out on the street because A, um, I try not to take the the big old 18 wheelers spots from them if I can avoid it. And B, um, it's just a, a better place. You know, there's, you know, I'm not gonna be next to a reefer, I'm not gonna be dealing with guys driving in and out <clears throat> and driving around and their air brakes and everything all night. So this works. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have traffic going up and down the road, but it shouldn't be too bad. So here we are. Um, again, I, I hope you guys like the driving videos. I've got a ton of requests for them. And uh, while I was home last night, I uh, played around with my mount the thing the phone is sitting on right now the mount yes that do that and got it uh to where it will actually hold itself up for a little longer than three seconds now it still doesn't stay up you know like i would like it to but i can get little clips here and there or um if i put my hand on on the shifter when it's in drive right here i can just stick a finger in the corner of the phone and it holds it in place uh <clears throat> Anyway, so hope you like the the driving content. Like I said, I know I've got a lot of requests for it, and I finally got to a point I can do it. Um, and what do you think about the uh, 
now that I get these driving videos and I'm getting a lot better with the editing, um, going to one video per load. Right? Is that what? Yes, that 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 is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, one video per load instead of one video every day. So, like when I do these big runs from Indiana to Boise all the time, uh, instead of having a video every day, you would have one video covering a three-day trip. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Of course, uh, almost no wind all day, a little bit here, a little bit there, and three miles up the road, it just starts kicking, which is why we're... Uh, in the truck for this part so i'm gonna get this video edited up for you guys and then um i think i'm gonna go to bed because i get it i've got to get up at five o'clock and i don't know what happened to my time thing it said i was going to be three hours away from uh delivery tonight and now all of a sudden it's five i didn't slow down i i i don't know gps the joys of gps right uh anyway i'm gonna end this one here uh it's already way longer than my normal videos but if i'm doing again if i'm doing one every every load that uh obviously is gonna make sense that they would be longer because i'll be recording every day anyway as always, those of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.